I have several black women who watch my videos and they'll leave comments asking why I don't deal with black men like I do black women. I want to clarify to those black women that I will not dedicate my videos criticizing black men like I do with black women. Black women have more than enough prosecutors on their side. Almost all black women and most black men do nothing but criticize black men and give black women a pass. You like prosecuting attorneys. My channel serves as a defense attorney. My videos serve as a balance. I tell the other side of the story. Whenever black men are projected as the only gender within the black community worthy of criticism, nobody has a problem with that. You don't hear black women saying, what about black women? Right, these black male simps who pander to black women to win favor in black women's eyes have been raised to function exactly like a female. And just like black females, these Negro simps view any type of criticism of black women's behavior, no matter how valid it is, as an attack on black women. They'll criticize black men all day. They even call black men derogatory names all day, every day. Something they wouldn't dare do with black women at all. They don't deal with black women in the same way. That is the exact same mentality their black mothers have. Because they are a product of these black female feminists. That it's okay to criticize and degrade black males, but not black females. These simps may not realize it. But they're supporting their own destruction, their own degradation. They help create the atmosphere that reduces the value of black male life in the eyes of not only white folk, but other black males. The mindset that black men have of viewing other black men as their number one enemies and their number one targets for murder, that's reinforced by the false propaganda that is spread by these black male simps that is given and passed to them by their black feminist mothers and when you co-sign with the lie that all black single mothers were abandoned by their kids father you're promoting the idea that black men are subhuman right when you refuse to acknowledge black women's role as the chief installer of self-hatred into black males you're supporting the idea that black men are subhuman because you're implying that those black men were born with a natural instinct to be violent with a natural instinct to view other men as their number one enemies and to view black men's lives as less important when you refuse to acknowledge that black mothers are the first transmitters of culture and the first teachers you're ignoring whatever role they may play in the shaping of dysfunctional black males and thus you're projecting black males as subhuman right your refusal to deal with the fact that the cause of black male dysfunction is black women's self-hatred the fact that they're racially dead and their lack of race value projects black men as subhuman because again these dysfunctional black males you talk about all the damn time came into existence after black women became the only parent in the majority of black homes your refusal to deal with abortions which is a murderous genocide of black life proves that you don't have any real concern for black life your aim is just to defend black women to be a little simp trying to pander to them and win favor in their eyes right these simps because they have no father or they had an effeminate father they stretch the concept of you know men being the protectors of women way beyond its boundaries to the extent that they view valid criticisms of black women as an attack on black women and they feel the need to run and protect them they fail to realize 
that the same black women they treat as innocent angels have no respect for them at all. They only support your desire to protect them from real men who point out their fuckery. Beyond that and kissing their ass, they don't have no use for you. Seeing that these black females are an offspring of white supremacist ideology, these black males are also offsprings of white supremacist ideology because they're mentally no different from black women. These black women have produced generations of black females with penises and black women duck and hide behind these simps when real black men call them out on a fuckery. Then they'll claim that those same simps that they raise and ducking and hiding behind are actually the real men. Knowing damn well that those very same black women have no real respect for men who defend and ignore fuckery. Right? There is no awakening of these black females. For those of you who believe that black women will respect black men if black men build a respectable economy give them jobs and become noteworthy business owners just keep in mind that marcus garvey's heyday was during the time of black wall streets right black wall streets were all over the country and just in one you had hundreds of businesses right black men owning bus systems jet planes banks and so forth building homes giving white folk home loans the nation of islam right malcolm x the black power movement all of this was during the time when black men were still noteworthy business owners black wall street was ultimately destroyed by integration the same with several other black businesses so after generations of black wall streets right black men owning businesses and at the same time at the height of dispensing a healthy culture for black women black women came out of all that and immediately began to slaughter black babies to abuse black children especially boys right to re-embrace white standards white values right started to produce gangsters and expose their children to gangsterism through TV and music and promote the shit they damn self and basically produce generations of black people with an unprecedented level of dysfunction something we've never seen before right our demonstrations of self-reliance did not provide black women with even an ounce of motivation to continue grooming black children with the values that black men stood for over the decades preceding the feminist movement there is no fixing these black women history has taught us that you have foreign ideologies and economies dominating virtually every country in africa right now islam christianity right western and european influence people speaking the languages of these foreigners adopting the names and religions of these foreigners just like us over here yet you still got thousands of groups over in Africa in villages who refuse to accept the influence of foreigners these people ain't got no huge economy many of them living in damn mud huts and they still holding on to that culture the so-called modernized Africans tend to look down on these village Africans for holding on to ancient cultures so tightly it is because those men and women recognize the value in those cultures. And I'd be damned if anybody going to tell me that because black men don't have the same power that white men have, that black women in America are incapable of recognizing the value and importance of embracing what you are, of putting their own identity on a pedestal so that their kids grow up with a healthy view of self. Examples are seen all over Africa. Black women in America could not do it because their experience in the United States was so devastating to their psyche that it completely destroyed their ability 
to love what they are, to teach their kids the value and importance of family, of race relations with other black people and to deal with other black people as family. This should have come easy to black women because females are creatures of love, like they are feminine counterpart. And this is exactly why I maintain that the black woman in America is racially dead and is no longer capable of advancing the race. Again, I refer to how rapidly the race has been in decline since they became the majority of parents in the black community. So when I criticize black men, just understand I'm going to trace their dysfunction to its origin. And that origin is the racial death of their mothers. Stay tuned.